He sure looks good when he hits that tight shot, doesn't Kirk? Yeah, he sure does, and that is ideal up in the fairway. Probably just a sand wedge left for him. So after the short miss, Birdie putt at four. Tiger should have another good opportunity there at the fifth. He hits a decent wedge shot. We'll be right back to that. There at the fifth. He hits that tight shot. So just under 270. Your He sure looks good when he hits that tight shot, doesn't he, Kirk? Yeah, he sure does, and that is ideal up in the fairway. Probably just a sand wedge left for him. So after the short miss, Birdie cut at four. Tiger should have another good opportunity there at the yeah, two, two, three. Two, shot. two, right two right obvious. Right. The one obvious. success in two or wins, but to us, it deserves the same level of service and attention. RBC, your success comes first. Warrior presents this exclusive offer. Introducing Warrior's new tour super soft and distance golf balls. Absolutely free. No gimmicks, no catches. No purchase necessary. A $100 combined retail value. Free. Warrior makes their new golf balls with high energy or technology. You'll hit these longer and straighter than any other golf ball. Get the new Warrior golf balls today, and all you cover is shipping and processing. It's time to switch and make Warrior your golf ball of choice. No purchase necessary and no catches. It's yours absolutely free. Supplies are limited, so call now. Ready to tee off with me in Northern Ireland? Golf Now's Tee It Up with Rory Sweepstakes presented by Taylor May. Play three unforgettable rounds. Including one with me at Royal Port Rush Golf Club. Enter at golfnow.com slash Rory. Back at one, this is the third now for answer. Fifth greenside bunker this week. It's two for four so far. And there's a mm. Needs to miss this down the back there. Yeah. Yeah. 15 feet left. Now from here, the Green Briar, the nation celebrating its independence. You've got Watson, Bryce and the Shambo, the people get some fireworks of their own. And military tribute at the Great Briar of a token qualifying series going on. Starting here, as a matter of fact, that's Thursday, 3.30 Eastern time. Top four, if you're not already in, if you're in the top 12 in the tournament, you earn a spot at the Open in a few weeks at Carnoustie. Oh, that morning, I just bust the towel there. That's the fifth. Back here at the fifth, Tiger Doing some guarding there, getting ready for his second shot. One under on his round, that birdie at the second. That was out of the, the hay, the native grass, short and left of the green at two. And I have a chest and so interior. I mean, I know we're looking at the chases, but it's assuming nothing happens at the top. This might be the start of something happening. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 
So you had two guys had 13 under to start, and now there's just one. And then we're watching Tiger. And he's one under and eight under overall, so he's still five back. But you got guys like Hosler, Streelman. All right, now Tiger with the wedge. Just 78 yards. Kind of locked this up in the air a little bit. It stops as get down. It's 78 yards, front pole location. Let's see, it's tough to spin it enough back down the hill from that yardage. Go back one. Francesco. On this left. We'll ride it up later on this year. So we believe he might come up. for him, along with his brother, and uh, looking forward to France later in the summer. So he is on side ball by himself. 13 other trying to become the first player born in Italy to win on the PGA Tour since 1947. Say goodbye to all this. Once we deploy work day, our finance and HR system will be 100% in the cloud. 100%? Would I lie to you? Would I lie to you, honey? It's a song. Yeah, it's a good song. Oh, this is where the ping pong tables are going to go. Ooh. Workday gives you the truth, and that sounds pretty great. Workday, built for the future. Solo leader at 13 under par after a par at the first. Answers bogey. Zach Blair has this for birdie, a little up the hill. Zach Blair in need of a good week. And now, Abraham answer at the second tee. Starts out by missing two fairways in a row, and you can still see that ball. Give me a layup, no doubt. We'll go ahead to the green at five and check back in with Phil Blackmore. The punch in the green went first in the same line, showing Tiger the line. It's about to go pretty hard to the right, and Kirk is this green really all of them just trying to get, I think, the color that, that they wanted when the week began, which is kind of a Unless they have a future show of love, I wasn't going to this with you. We had a lot of rain before the tournament started. It's cut from 
just outside 34 feet. Milk percentage, average milk percentage of tour is 6% from this range. And this would also be the longest putt the Tiger has made this week if it does go in. Yeah, I was going to break a good five or six feet. It would be quite a putt to make. in three weeks, so obviously the win is very important, but that as well. Today's coverage is brought to you by Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans, America's largest mortgage lender. The Ping G700 items, the new standard in distance technology. Bright House Financial, established by Matlock. Okay, first game for trip to the kids. Things are going to wrong, but I'll just get the trip to the kids. Hmm. That should get the info. And the scary monsters. Alright, take a look, take a look, take a look, turn. I think the kids are old enough to flip us all into the lake. Ooh, how about? Yeah, that's more than XP. Girls, let's do this. We are ready to roll. Make your car yours. eBay mode. So, this is cover, right? Yes, ma'am. Take care of you right now. Yeah. Hi, this is Jamie. We need some help. It's an Uber bank bag compared to seven people. Or poodles. He's actually a golden English slabber Irish Bernadette and Trooper. The uncle can get it to seven like a golden golden English slabber Irish. Introducing the all new Buick Enclave. Tomorrow's SUV for today's fun. Current eligible lessons. Get this low mileage lease on this 2018 Buick Enclave for around $389 per month. Mm -hmm. How about is this ATX Yeah, right. Ah, this must be the one I was with a ton of entertainment options. Great. Can you sign for this? Oh, uh, what's in that one? That's a shark. New and only with AT&T, you can get unlimited data, 30 plus channels of live TV, and you can choose the things like HBO and Pandora Premium. Right. 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 No booking fees. Half a million tea times. Tea on the cup by PTA Tour. Tiger Woods on the sixth tee. 499 yards today, and you would expect a drop, would you? Yeah, in trouble. Definitely both sides, but particularly right of hazard right is miss with the drivers more often right than left. Requires a good one here. having to lay up here at the second. So now Bill shot, just going to run it into the rough. 
at the end of the fairway. You'll be able to spin it with that sand wedge down there. That should be just fine. Tim Nancy and Baker Finch set to take you through top of the hour. You can check it out on CBS the rest of the way. And the encore presentation tonight, 10 o'clock Eastern time, right here on Golf Channel, the 12th edition of this Quick and Loans National. And Molinari in control right now, up by one out of the second. Jesco has got a fairway wood here. I think he's trying to, at the very least, get it as close to this green on this par five and two as he can. And I believe that is in the green side bunker. And that's what he has left. A little uphill. Shouldn't be too bad. Zach Blair on the third. This was just a moment ago. 225 down the hill. Field proximity today, 45 feet. So that's a hit of that one. Ball striking has been great this week for Ryan. Likes to hit a little draw to that left hole location. Uh, it's got to be hard from the flag, but that'll be a delicate one down the hill. Francisco Molinari leads the way in the final round of the Quicken Loans National. with Nikki Fowler, who made a roller coaster on the back over a subtle buried elephant. Or made a tough butt or a bump on the green. Easy as always. I wish you were my mortgage guy. He's always saying, hey, screw this, VOE that, FHA. And what does BMI even mean, right? Back to you, Scott. Dude, that got weird. Okay, pretty good. It's our rocket mortgage. It's simple. Golf can be complex, but understanding the mortgage is simple. Get approved in as few as eight minutes with Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans, America's largest mortgage lender. As the only original for patients at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, and even though they're having cancer, they have a reason to smile. Because they're benefiting from cutting-edge research funded by your donations and the generous support of companies like FedEx. For the past 33 years, FedEx has been helping to deliver some of the most special moments imaginable, like Azalea being a big sister and Bridget enjoying special time with her mom. We won't stop until no child dies from cancer. Thanks, FedEx. Anna and Mark are heading into retirement, and a little nervous. But not so much about what market volatility may do to their retirement savings. That's because they have a shield annuity from Bright House Financial which allows them to take advantage of growth opportunities in up markets while maintaining a level of protection in down markets so they can focus on new things, like exotic snacks. Talk with your advisor about shield annuities from Bright House Financial, established by MetLife. Are you ready to tee off with me in Northern Ireland? Golf Now's Tee It Up with Rory Sweepstakes presented by Taylor May. Play three unforgettable rounds. Including one with me at Royal Point Rush Golf Club. Enter at golfnow.com slash Roy. Golf Advisor has your ticket to the world's best golf destinations. This isn't just a trip. It's Golf Advisor Round Trip. Big Cedar Lodge. Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. This is at the second. Abraham answers third shot after a good layup. Opportunity to bounce back, but he can be aggressive on that angle. Oh, that putt. Two, three. And Ryan Arma. I actually like this choice. A little fairway work, pop it out of the rock, get a little top spin. Oh, yeah, it's nicely done. Could have played that in a numerous way. That was a good result. Up to the sixth, the target in the center of the fairway, 320 yards off, just 180 yards left to a back left hole location. Cannot miss this one. And there's a lot of slope from left to right in this green, so I do start in the center, maybe just a gentle draw to that left hole location. Not 
too bad, though. I'm really, it's quite remarkable. Kim Solomon has guessed him so well in just the 11th start and his comeback. A good shot. With it being this hot, it's tough to control the distance. Back to the second. Molinari in the bunker, about 35 yards to the hole. Just a little bit. Just a three. And Zach Lowe. Probably about 30 feet up the hill. She projected there 135 in the Fayette Cup again this week, 179. Playing now that 126 to 150 category, so this is only his 13th start of the year. 35th to go on the PGA Tour. I don't get a lot of access. Back to the second. And the answer will be first here. Came into the week, 116th in FedEx Cup points, couple top tens. He's done everything pretty well. One of the stats coming into this fourth round that was kind of stood out was his scrambling. He'd gotten up and down. 11 out of 12 times, so 11 out of 13 times he's gotten the ball up and down. Didn't get it up and down from the bunker at one today. Trying to stay focused on this putt and not let Tiger's group, which is going down six fairway behind him there, distract him. is leaving it short from 18, 20 feet. That's a sign of a little bit of nerves jumping in there, which is understandable. He's never won on the PGA Tour. This is only his second year on the PGA Tour. To three again. And Zach Lea tapping in for his paw. Would be three straight paws to open his final round. Fourth year on tour, looking for his breakthrough victory. Back to two. The chance for Molinari to get off to the start he was looking and for. Now, your Maybe. Chicago. Maybe five feet, a little outside of five feet here for Bernie at the second. Part of the first. And then he does just that. So a good start for Francesco Molinari, looking for his first ever PGA Tour win. A winner over on the European Tour this year. He's got it back to the WPGA. Right on up. That's a good save from over the green there at the third. So he's even, just three back of the lead. All right, guys, so we wrap things up here. Molinari coming off that birdie and extending the lead to two. A little nerve, perhaps, for Abraham answer at 12 under. The man who's made the move of those near the top, the Bill Hostel, three under through five holes to get within three. Yeah, he uh, hit the 36 on the lead. Uh, obviously, we talked about how well he's playing during the course of the year, but uh, it is still uncharted territory for him at the moment. All eyes that are still focused on Molinari. Another youngster, Newman, that run of 65. That was only beat by Doc Redman. And Doc Redman, that run of 64 to him, that was the second group off at the moment. They're starting to struggle to find booties out there. Yeah, it hasn't been entirely easy. Joaquin Neve in a five under round, get it to six under overall today. That's the best that we have seen. Best on the course right now is three under. No one early. You Let's go, get it out. Come on, come on, come on. Immediately put some pressure on the leaders and Francesco Molinari. I mean, he's been there and done that. I mean, not on the PGA Tour, but he's done it a number of times in Europe. Yeah, the hardest thing for Francesco right now is just to conquer the old internal battle. Uh, just get out there and realize he's seeing his name on the leaderboard, trying to keep it there for you know, the remaining sort of three, three and a half hours. Uh, Really, the key to his game so far has been just Not lack of error. He's, he's only with six screens in regulation, too. I know we're not quite halfway through this fourth round, but he just, he just keeps ticking it away, fairway green, fairway green, fairway green. Uh, 14 under, I think that's the one he's going right now. I was just yeah, going to ask yeah. you that. If you're Francesco Molinari, whether you feel like you have to go out and make some birdies and stay aggressive or just protect what you have right now. Not mindset, mind, mind uh, necessarily, but 
14 under could win the thing. Yeah, be patient. There's still a tough stretch of holes that they have to go through. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You've got to get through that stretch. Then you get a chance at 12, 13, and 14. So uh, the waters aren't calm yet. But you talk to Tiger, what you've seen today so far? It's still impressive. Um, he's won a square away. Remember yesterday, he made, right about now, he made four babies in a row. If that happens, then all of a sudden this goes crazy. Who knows? Two yeah. shot lead right now, though, for. Francesco Molinari at one under on the day. Martin Armour hanging in there too. Got those three at 11 under. So Andrew Landry had the 63 early in the week. He put himself in a position. Two things very important right now too. Not just the win, but also the FedEx Cup race and guys making a big move and maybe getting one of those four spots for the Open Championship. Very much so. Yeah, there's, there's three stories going on right now. They're at the same time. So coming up next here on Golf Channel, it is Golf Central. We're we'll wrapping things up for Frank and the crew. I'm Terry Gannon. You can continue to check this out over on CBS Top of the Hour, 3 o'clock Eastern time. So, from here to the Green Wire. See you next week starting Thursday with that. So long, everyone, for the nation's capital. Karen Steffels and Aaron Oberholzer. Tiger Woods trying to mount a big Sunday comeback with Pickett Lungs in Maryland. Six back to start the final round after part number one. How's this, Aaron, at the third? Hey, from Tiger. Great piece of judgment. Need a little luck to do a good live. He judged it beautifully. And check that. Part five, second hole. And that would lead to a birdie. Tiger with a few pars after that. So he's tied for ninth. He's five back. But Francesco Molinari still with a shot at wing number 80. It'll take a big kick to the finish for Tiger Woods. Meanwhile, we're here outside of Chicago, KPMG Women's PGA Championship, and that is coming up next on NBC. It is live streaming right now on the Golf Channel app. Tee times were moved up because of the threat of some afternoon storms here in the Midwest, and we have a good one underway. Let's take you to some of those highlights, and what a performance again for the second consecutive Sunday by the 19-year-old from Japan, Nasa Hataoka. She began, Karen, nine shots back. And that's pretty crazy when you think about it. Final round of a major, tough golf course, winds howling. She's able to hit quality shots like that from the wedge. That was a birdie to get to nine under. Keep in mind, she had already made two eagles in this final round. Now the approach on number 16 from just inside the hazard line. Boy, well, you talk about a quality shot, Karen. That one was right there. How she got that ball to stop nope. down the wind out of that line, phenomenal. So she gets to 10 under after a final round 64, shot 63 to win last Sunday in Arkansas. Now so young you, started with a three shot lead. Here she is on the part five of it. I don't want to say this of so young you. She's at her very oh, best. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Shots. And there's a birdie to 12 under and a lead back to two. Now 13 for Bob. Well, which we saw coming down the stretch yesterday. Didn't see any of that. First one I've seen her miss inside of 10 feet. Oh, the last two days. Forget the other great South Korean standout Sunday Mark. And she's really making the most of this new putter that she has in the bag. It's shorter length. And the strokes looking pretty good. Co-player of the year in 2017. Along with so young you. So you the 2017 U.S. Women's Open champion. Best American at this point is Angel Yin. Jessica Corder closes her with a, a strong performance. Meanwhile, Michelle Wee and Lexi Thompson. Lexi, four under today, tied 15. Yeah, Michelle Wee, even par for the tournament, tied 29. Andy. Let's check oh, in live with final round coverage here and our colleagues at NBC. Of Parks, as she's five paces ahead from our park hit on the same line, hitting from that first intercut, first intermediate cut rough, and really wants to hit this 180 into the wind on that same line. Beautifully struck shot. Playing it well out to the right. And that's the angle to be, but it couldn't be better. Drop ahead. Angel again for bogey. And again playing the 15th hole. She's made four pars. Number 68. Our hand. The last bogeys and birds. So once she kind of figures out that volatile portion of her game, she could be a really dangerous player. As the man, she's 19 years old, in that top of fourth right now, just saw Porter come with a 68. Here now, hang on, by one. And his white knuckle time down the stretch here at the Kemper Lakes where